Puri and CSI Council. So I've given two minutes to address DK crust problems. So we know the true bifurcation lesions. We won't go into the how it is classified. That's not the point of this topic. We know that we select different two strand strategies based on angles, calcification. All this has been discussed. We won't go into this. This is the algorithm which we follow. Pot provisional versus two strand techniques, the angles. So this is the ideal DK crust technique. You first prepare both the lesions, stand the side branch, crush the side branch properly, recross proximal strut, do the first kissing inflation, then you put the main branch stand, do a first spot, recross the non-distal branch, do a sequential kissing, then kissing together, and finally repot before the carina. This is basically a DK crush technique. Looks good and easy on an animation, and this is how it's supposed to look to have less muddle on the carina. So what are the problems? The biggest problem starts with the wiring. So what happens if you can't wire, then you should change your wires, use polymer wires, use angled catheters, use different uh, hairpin bends, till you can cross the lesion. And please, before you start deploying stents, prepare the lesion well with atherectomy measures, as Kirti pointed out. Do a good pre-preparation of the lesion before you start stenting, because later on it will get difficult to do them. So main important thing is that find a way that you prepare and enter the side branch and main branch well. You might consider atherectomy, keep a low threshold because this should ideally be your index and the last procedure. It's not always possible, but this should be aimed to have this as the last procedure. So make all attempts to cross them well, use adequate support, use the devices available with you, IVL, atherectomies, whatever you needed, prepare the lesions well. Similarly, Side branch standing with short protrusion to the main vessel. So one important is if you fail to dis deliver the side branch stent, obviously prepare the lesion. Where do you place the stent is very important. So you have to decide whether you will do a nano crush, mini crush, DK crush is not nano, non mini. So you have to come at least two to three millimeters into the, into the main vessel. An important thing to remember, slightly more is better, but less is not good for a DK crush. And the biggest problem we all face, is when we are moving our balloon and a stent together, our main vessel balloon moves away. And then you realize you cannot cross the main vessel balloon into to crush the side branch. So be very, very mindful of that. Your main vessel balloon has to be across the side branch stent. And if required, crush it twice. The first balloon should be the size of the distal reference vessel. And the second balloon has to be the size of the proximal vessel. So many a times we use a balloon for distal reference vessel and we realize we have not adequately crushed the side branch stand and we struggle to deliver our second stand. So that's very, very important. Next is how does the ballooning to be done? You can jail the side branch wire, do not get worried. And the biggest misconception has been that you cannot jail polymer jacketed wires. It's not true. In fact, the data suggests that the polymer jacket wires are safer than regular wires in jailed side branches. So do not get scared of doing a polymer jacketed wire into the side branch to jail. Second is, if they don't come out easily, use guide liners, use micro catheters, use balloons, slowly pull them out. The third important thing to remember when you have a jailed wire is to prevent the longitudinal compression of the stand because we are in a hurry to pull the wire out and a guide jumps in and distorts the stand. So be very mindful when you pull this wire, you should also pull your guide out at the same time so you don't distort the stand. So that is the most important thing and steps to follow in these patients. Rewiring the side branch to the crushed side branch stand. One is try all possible methods, try all possible wires, try different blends. If none of them work, you can start using the angled catheters. We have lots of angled micro catheters available now varying from zero to 120 degrees. So depending on the angle, you can use different angle catheters and the wire generally almost will cross. You can use a hairpin technique, go down below the side branch vessel, start pulling up. As you come close to the side branch, it will drop in. So all these methods to be tried before saying he, I could not pass through the side branch. Similarly, for the first kissing balloon inflation, Optimize your balloon solution. So it is always reference of the distal vessel. So when you do kissing, do not do kissing as per the proximal vessel. The finite law has to be used 0.67 when using bifurcation. 
if nc balloons do not go you safely can use semi compliant balloons so you can use a semi compliant balloon without any effort please do that and sometimes you find that you cannot push any balloon across start with a smaller balloon so there's no harm in inventing more or investing a little bit more use a one 1.5 and gradually step it up till you can cross it and do the first kissing because the dk cross results if you do not kiss well the base rates and tlrs are going to be very higher then comes main vessel stenting across the side branch important thing size the vessel to the distal reference not to the proximal vessel but at the same time your proximal stent should be able to reach the proximal vessel diameter so select the stent you should know their expansion limits so if you have a three down and a four up and you take a stent which does not go to four then you're going to struggle second thing leave enough space proximal to the side branch for pot so check your lab for the length of the nc balloon you have available for a pot so if you have a 12 available balloon for a pot and you do an 8 mm protrusion into the main branch you want to dissect the main branch so that's very very important so keep a very clear knowledge of the inventory you have at all times similarly should the side branch wire be removed prior to my main vessel you may or may not remove it there used to be a school of thought ki remove it or don't remove it i leave them in the only thing is you have to be gentle while pulling it out do not push the guide in and if the main vessel stent does not advance and is catching on the side branch stent then you might do the same things which i told you you must have not crusted properly you take another balloon crush your side branch properly and repeat the kissing and repeat the process this i already discussed that you should keep adequate balloon size pot technique the carina should be respected so the distal marker should be at the carina do not cross it do not distort the carina and pot helps you in expansion so it prevents the wire from going abluminally in the main vessel so you do not go behind the stent and second it helps you cross over to the side branch so the pot is important for these two lessons and the balloon pot should be always at the carina and see that you don't come out of the main branch and this is one of the reasons when you have a left main and if a left main is short try to bring the left main into the ostia so bring the left main stent into the ostia because if your left main is short otherwise you will fall short of the balloon similarly rewiring after this to the main vessel and second side branch has to be the second step for the second case now in this you have to pass in the non distal so it is pass proximal or mid and main vessel of course you pass to the center the same techniques again different jacketed wires same technique i'm not going to go into details of how you cross them second pissing balloon inflation is very important it cannot be missed again you do step approach if your main big balloon doesn't cross but if you done a good pot even your big nc balloon will cross with ease and once you have achieved it you do a repot at the end of it repot technique be very mindful that this is at the time you will not come into the carina you come proximal to the carina so that you don't disturb the carina finally you have to review the final result that's very important that's where imaging counts where you review the final result and see how the wire this is done so i will just show you a quick case It'll not take more than 1 minute this was an inferior mi we fixed the rca first then we did is the bifurcation so all we did was this is what i discussed we wired both balloon both just did an oct to know where i'm going to place my stent i won't go into details of explaining the oct this angle is favorable for dk crush first crush 3 into 12 nc after you put the 2.75 des so you see what i'm doing i first crush with a 3 or 12 then i crush the proximal with a 3.5 because your proximal is 3.5 that's a very important step then you d1 recross then you i did an oct because you should show whether you've crossed the proximal since you use an imaging so imaging clearly shows me here that i've gone proximal cross so this is safe i am in the right uh, area then you do the first kissing balloon inflation once you've done these steps properly your main vessel stent will go very easily without any issues then you put a 3.522 second dk then you do led stent implantation i have removed the wire what 4 into 6 d1 recrossed oct pull back to check where you've gone 